Namaste. I'm Ala Melo and our theme today is Glorious Vegetables. Come, join me as we prepare three colorful tasty dishes using an amazing variety of vegetables. Consuming three to five servings of vegetables every day is not hard when you cook them with flair. Today, we are focusing on glorious vegetables. We will prepare an exquisite vegetable kurma, a delicious tomato rice enhanced with green onions and an intriguing okra masala. Sounds good? Let's get started. First, I'm going to prepare vegetable kurma a colorful blend of vegetables cooked in a coconut almond sauce. Here are our ingredients. First, I'm gonna make a spice paste. For that, I need half a cup of unsweetened powdered coconut, one green chili pepper, 12 to 14 raw almonds, one tablespoon poppy seeds, one teaspoon cumin seeds, half a teaspoon fennel, and about two to three thick slices of fresh ginger root, and I have about two cups of hot water. For cooking, we'll be using one tablespoon oil, one tablespoon butter. Spices wise, I have two to four curry leaves, optional, one bay leaf, three to four sliver cinnamon stick, one teaspoon cumin seeds, half a teaspoon fennel seeds, half a teaspoon turmeric powder, one teaspoon curry powder, half a teaspoon salt, half a cup of chopped onion, one cup of chopped tomato, two cups peeled and cubed potatoes, one and a half cups of cauliflower florets, and I have one cup of frozen and peas and carrots. Now I'm going to start cooking. This is a two-step uh, two process. First, I'm going to make the paste, and I have a blender here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the ginger. It's a little bit thick, so I'm just going to cut that in half so it will blend very quickly. And so I'm going to, I'm putting the ginger because it's thick, okay? And then I'm going to add the coconut. I'm going to add one chili. See this chili? It's a Thai chili. One chili will do. And then I'm going to add the almonds. Poppy seeds. Poppy seeds are really good. I have seen them in the bread and black poppy seeds or white poppy seeds. It's used for flavor and also as a thickener for the vegetable kurma. And then I have uh, cumin seeds and fennel seeds. So we put everything together. And now I have uh, about two cups of hot water, but I may not use all of that. I may just... Um, pour the hot water and I will try to, and I'm going to use the towel and I'm going to put it in the low speed and first I'm going to grind it like that. And I'm going to pour the rest of the water in here. I'm going to check the consistency. It can grind some more. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some more water. And we want that to be a smooth paste. OK, that's pretty good. We'll leave it like that. So I'm going to be using like about a tablespoon of butter. That's all I'm going to use. And then I'm going to use some oil. Oil and butter together, uh, when it is sauteed, it gives a very nice taste. So we'll wait for this butter to melt. And I have a lot of vegetables here. And I'm going to add curry leaves. Again, if you do, curry leaves are very aromatic and flavorful. If you have the curry leaves, fine. If you don't have the curry leaves, it's okay too, it's optional. 
Now I'm going to add the bay, uh, the bay leaf and I'm going to add the cinnamon stick. Cinnamon stick adds a very sweet flavor to the dish. And then I'm going to add the cumin, the fennel. So all these spices are getting brown. And now, when, when the seeds are getting brown, I'll be adding the onions, okay? So here we go, when I have the onions here. I will be sauteing the onions. Mmm, it smells really good. Vegetables are so inexpensive, and it's very easy to buy these fresh vegetables. I just added the turmeric, and now I'm going to add the tomatoes, and I'm going to keep half the tomatoes here because I want to use it later, okay? And what I did was I sauteed my dry spices and I added onions and tomatoes. And now I'm going to add the parboiled uh, potatoes, which I cubed. You can use a russet potato or a Idaho potato because when it cooks, it still maintains its texture nice and firm, okay? And do you know that we can just do a potato dish or just the same ingredients, you can use the potatoes and the cauliflower and make a dish called alu gobi that is very, very popular <laughs> using almost the same ingredient. But now I am going to, use, I'm going to make vegetable kurma. I'm going to close it for a few minutes and let the potato cook. You can, you can use the potatoes and you can add the curry powder. Curry powder is a mixture of many spices like coriander, chilies, uh, black pepper, cumin, fennel. So when you're sauteing your spices, if you did not have the cumin or the fennel, don't worry about it because it's already there in the curry powder. You can just close it, add the salt, and let the uh, potatoes cook and make a nice uh, potato dish, which is really good. Um, and now I'm going to add the cauliflower. See the cauliflower? I cut them like a bite-sized piece. I often see cauliflower um, used with the vegetable dip. I, I like cauliflower when you cook it with spices and with potatoes and, um, you know, with tomatoes, onions, it becomes really good. At this point, you can close it and you can say you're making an alu gobi, okay, because it's potatoes and uh, cauliflower together. Uh, but we are going to do vegetable kurma, so I'm going to let that cook for a few minutes. Now I'm using the uh, kuruma sauce. I'm going to stir this. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? The colors and the smell. It's vibrant. And uh, when, we are, when we are told that we should eat colorful vegetables, uh, here you have it. And I'm going to let the potato cook. And then I'm going to add the carrots and the peas. And while it's cooking, I'm just going to increase the heat and I'm going to add the remaining tomatoes. And then, because when it's cooking with the tomatoes, it adds such a great flavor. And then I'm also going to add the peas and the carrots. Mm. That looks so good. And this particular rice, this particular vegetable kurma is made um, in India on special occasions and we serve it with rice or bread. And by the way, this particular dish is also gluten free, okay? And I'm going to add a little bit of water and let that cook for a few more minutes. 
Look at that beauty. I can smell the ginger. I can smell uh, the potatoes and the cauliflower, the cinnamon, the bay leaf, and the curry leaves together. And we are going to let that simmer. And that's the end of it. It's a colorful blend of vegetables in coconut almond sauce. Now I'll prepare a superb flavored tomato rice with green onions. Here are our ingredients. I'll be using about a tablespoon of oil and tablespoon of butter. And I also, spice-wise, I have one bay leaf, three to four sliver cinnamon stick, half a teaspoon cumin seed, quarter teaspoon turmeric powder, half a teaspoon garam masala, and half a teaspoon salt. One cup cooked basmati rice, half a cup onion cut lengthwise, half a cup chopped tomato, half a cup tomato sauce, half a cup chopped green onion tops and half a cup roasted cashews. So now we'll start cooking. See the pasmati rice here? I, uh, I cooked the pasmati rice in a rice cooker and I kind of cooled it so the grains are nice and fluffy and they are separate to make flavored rice dishes. Uh, you can make the rice by using the rice cooker. Uh, you take one cup of basmati rice, add water to it and soak it for a while and you drain it and you take the drained uh, soaked basmati rice, put it in the rice cooker with two cups of warm water, turn on the switch for the rice cooker, rice is done. It's wonderful and it makes perfect rice every time. I'm going to add a tablespoon, just like a sliver of butter, because the flavored rice dish will be really good when we use it. And by the way, this is gluten-free uh, dish also. So I'm going to use about a tablespoon of oil and a tablespoon of butter. When the oil is hot but not smoking, I'm going to be adding the bay leaf. And then I'm going to add the cinnamon stick. Cinnamon stick gives a nice sweet flavor to the dish. So I have the cinnamon stick and now I'm going to add the cumin seeds. Cumin seeds are digestive spice and just about a half a teaspoon or quarter teaspoon um, of cumin seeds are really good. And so you're sauteing the spices it's a very easy to prepare dish. Now I'm going to take the onion and we are going to saute the onion. Mmm, smells so good with the bay leaf and cinnamon and cumin. You know, you don't need anything else. Just add the rice and it's really good. But today we are going to make the tomato rice. Although I'm making tomato rice, uh, you know, there are, uh, in South India, the staple food is rice. And when I say rice, in every meal, a rice is served. But we don't eat like mounds and mounds of rice. It's usually like a quarter cup of rice with a variety of vegetables, several different dishes. So you have the rice and lots of vegetables and yogurt. Um, and so it's really good. And today I'm making the tomato rice, but you can do bell pepper, tomato rice, or you can make tamarind rice, you can make lemon rice, you can make black pepper, cumin rice. The variety of rice dishes are amazing. You will ask, why am I not using the brown rice? Let me tell you. I'm not using the brown rice because I'm using a lot of vegetables and all that. And white rice with the vegetables is really good. I do not want that to be too heavy. So that's why I'm not using the brown rice. See how I build it up? You can even, you can even stop at this stage remove that bay leaf and put it in a dish and serve it like a chutney. People would really love it. At this time, 
I am going to add the rice. See how beautiful this basmati rice is. And it's really good. And this particular rice, when, when you serve it with your baked chicken or fish or rice, um, it is, it's really good when you serve it with the Western type of uh, dinner. We are going to mix this up. And this particular rice is also good to pack as a, uh, in a lunch box. So I'm going to add some green uh, onions on the top. And I'm going to add some cashews. Okay, we are told to have nuts uh, for snacks. So you can add nuts here. And if you're allergic to nuts, forget the nuts. You can still make this amazing rice just with the tomato onions and green onions. There, there you go. That's it. And here I see the uh, bay leaf. Okay, bay leaf is already uh, roasted in the oil, and all the flavor is here. Although it is here for for decoration, we can leave it like this. But before you serve the rice, you would want to remove that bay leaf. So there you have it. Hi, here we are in West Dallas Farmers Market in West Dallas, Wisconsin. It is so exciting to go into Farmers Market to see what vegetables we have in there. We will pick some wonderful vegetables and cook some delicious vegetables that are easy to prepare. Let's go in and check out what we have there. Here we have the Swiss chard. Look at this. This is a green Swiss chard and this is the rainbow Swiss chard. And both are beautiful. And you really cook the Swiss chards just like uh, spinach leaves. They are high in iron and potassium and nutrients. And when I want to cook, I like to pick the rainbow Swiss chard because of its beautiful color. And uh, when the Swiss chard has a long, thick stem and the tall, thick leaves, when the stems are really rough, you want to chop off that part of the Swiss chard and use the rest of the stem and the leaves. You really cook it like spinach. Uh, Swiss chard Chards are very, uh, it's really rich in iron, potassium, and other nutrients. And when you buy the Swiss chard from the farmer's market, you may want to cook this right away within a day or two uh, because it doesn't last very long in the fridge. And you can season the Swiss chard with spices, cook it with lentils, and garnish with coconut, and you have an amazing dish. You will see even the kids loving the Swiss chard. Now I'm going to prepare okra masala. Here are our ingredients. I'll be using two tablespoons oil. Spices wise, I have quarter teaspoon of asafoetida powder, one teaspoon black mustard seeds, two teaspoons wura dal, half a teaspoon turmeric powder, half a teaspoon cayenne, more if desired, half a teaspoon cumin powder, one teaspoon salt, half a cup chopped onion, half a cup chopped tomato, three-fourth cup of tomato sauce, and two cups frozen cut okra. You can get fresh okra uh, in the grocery stores or in the farmer's market, and I am not using the fresh okra today because look at this okra, it's very thick, fibrous, and when I want to cook it, it's not going to come out really good. So if I try to pick something that is tender, it's not going to make enough of it. I can, just by feeling and touching it, I can say it's really like a hard okra. So I'm going to leave it. And the okra is known as Bindi. When you have gone to the Indian restaurant, in the menu, you will find bindi masala. Bindi is a Hindi word for okra. What did I buy then? I bought the frozen cut okra. There are about two tablespoons of frozen cut okra. See, I, I like the frozen cut okra because 
It's all uh, same texture, same size, and when I want to cook it, it, it's really good. So that's what I'm using. I'm just going to use a little bit more uh, canola oil. When the oil is hot, I'm going to use, because okra absorbs a lot of oil, so it's better to add a little more than necessary. And so I have the asafoetida. Asafoetida is a very aromatic powder. Um, it comes in a little bottle, and uh, I added the asafoetida powder, and I'm adding the uh, mustard seeds, and then the mustard seeds are bursting, and uh, I'm adding the mustard seeds and the wurad. See how beautiful it looks? And mustard seeds and wurad together gives a nice crunchy taste. And I'm waiting for the mustard seeds to get brown. If your oil is too hot, it will, apply, it will, get, it will really burn the spices. So this is really right. See that's popping? Okay, now I'm going to add the onions. It's, it's so easy. Once when you learn to uh, prepare uh, vegetables this way, when the vegetables are cooked, it is really good uh, for digestion. Now, I added the turmeric, now the cayenne. Uh, cayenne, when it's added to the okra, it's not that hot. So depending upon how hot you want the dish, you can add more or less. Cayenne and cumin together goes very well together. This is only one way of cooking okra, but I tell you, you can cook okra so many different ways. And when I say masala, if you ask me what is masala, masala can be a dry masala or a wet masala like this. Um, it's just spices added, and if it is a dry, a dry masala, I wouldn't be using the tomato sauce. But I like my okra to be well coated with the spices and the tomatoes, so it adds great flavor, and it is very addictive. And when you use, when you cook okra like this, believe it or not, you can transform any vegetable hater to a vegetable lover. And before I add the okra, let me tell you, look at this scrumptious, delicious sauce. You can take the sauce, put it in a container, and have it like a, a dip with uh, any kind of bread, or uh, you can put it in a cocktail rye bread and just serve it like a bruschetta. and so that is nice. And now I'm going to be adding the okra. This is only one way of cooking okra. I know a lot of times I see okra that is deep fried. Well, I have learned a great deal to cook with vegetables when I was growing up in India. Uh, that, and then when I came to United States as a young bride, I did not know any cooking. But the comfort food, home-cooked food, was where I was craving for that. And that's what happened to me. My mom came from India, and she couldn't believe that I was cooking and doing classes, uh, published cookbooks. So it's kind of an amazing culinary journey for me. And there we go. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to really cook this really well. And when it's all coated, it is a wonderful bindi masala. See how easy it is? Here we have three wonderful dishes that we prepared today. Seasoning the vegetables will help all of us, including children, to enjoy more vegetables every day. Cooking seasoned vegetable is not complicated and is not time consuming. Vegetables can come alive and cooked with spices and legumes. The result can be tasty, aromatic, foods that are hard to resist. Thank you for joining me today. So long for now, until next time, with love from my kitchen to yours, Vanakkam. To order copies of Alamelu's cookbooks, including recipes from this series, or the DVD set of this cooking series, visit mptv.org and click on Store. All prices include shipping and handling.
For more information about healthful Indian flavors with Alamelu, log on to mptv.org or find us on Facebook at Healthful Indian Flavors with Alamelu.